I still have to deal with the gaps on the doors. I have to adjust a little bit. I have to trim the bottom end here, for example, and add a little bit with a weld on the door at the top. But that's a small issue. The serious issue that I'm having is the rock. Now you see how the fender doesn't align with the rocker and the front too. Uh, the bottom of the door looks like pretty straight up to here and here the rocker goes up. The other thing I noticed with the rocker is that it doesn't have any curve here. Here it still has some, but here it's almost straight. And even here you can see how it goes in and then it goes out. I have to align the rocker with the fenders because there's a molding that goes here and these need to be one continuous line. You see here how it goes in and then the fender is out. So I'll see how am I gonna deal with that. <laughs> I have to remove the door in order to deal with the rocker, but before I do that I sprayed black paint on top of the hinges so I can mark where they go. And next time I want to put the door back on, it was gonna be easy for me to find the exact alignment. Then I started cutting the welds on the top lip of the rocker, they were not spot welds. Obviously this rocker was uh, replaced at some point and it wasn't spot welded but somebody just tucked it on the top of the lip. <laughs> Once I cut the welds on the top, the whole uh, top end uh, popped open, which means that the rocker was uh, held there under pressure. I don't know if it was uh, fitted like that or just because the curve became flat but it was obviously the top end was pushing out. I was worried about the bottom lip, how was I gonna cut the welds, but it appeared that just by shaking it a little bit I managed to pop the welds out and there were not, not more than three welds on the whole rocker. And now that the piece is out you can see how flat it is, especially down the center of it, it's almost uh, like a flat piece of sheet metal, you see? So I had to find a way to bring the curve back. I'm not an expert in metal shaping, so I was improvising a little. I thought that with something round underneath I would be able to bend the piece uh, a little bit, but uh, it appeared that with uh, something like this, holding one edge in the air and uh, hammering on top of the hollow area, it was uh, much easier for me to, to create some uh, shape. I fitted it a couple of times and it was uh, definitely getting there. Here I'd like to mention that I recently started watching this video series about the restoration of a Triumph Vitesse. The guy's name is Peter. He is absolutely the best restorer I've ever seen in YouTube. He's uh, fabricating his own replacement panels and he does absolutely stunning job.
I'll put a link for his channel in the description. I absolutely recommend that you go and watch that channel. There are so many tricks that you can learn from there. Thank you, Peter, for sharing your knowledge with us. Before I put the rocker on, I have to clean all the rust and paint the inner seal and the rocker itself from inside, but while I was cleaning up the rust here, it appeared that the inner seal wasn't in a very good shape. It was patched from underneath, but um, not very well. So, after I cleaned the rocker too, and uh, I also ground the old, the remaining of the old wells here. I had to deal with the inner seal too. And instead of patching the small holes, I decided to replace uh, one big area of the inner seal. So I first made the patch and then I uh, drew a line where I wanted to cut it. This was the easy part, but uh, at the back here I had to be careful not to cut the body mount because it was uh, welded to the inner seal. The sheet metal that I'm using is coming from uh, cut off pieces from cars, brand new cars actually that we cut for one reason or another in the shop and uh, that's why I had to clean the paint and here I drilled some holes for uh, plug welds where exactly where the body mount is so I can weld the inner seal to the body mount right there. Then I tucked it in as many places as possible. One of the tricks that I learned from Peter was to cool down the welds with compressed air so I can avoid warping. And I kept going the same way until the whole uh, patch was welded all around. Since the rocker has to move out a little bit, there is a little gap that uh, opens uh, right there under the post. So I had to uh, weld a little bit of sheet metal as an extension there so it can meet the rocker. looks fine at the back so I had to do the same in the front.
here at the front door there was a little hole, rusty hole that I had to uh, cut out and replace the sheet metal. I made the replacement piece, I tucked it there, cut the excess, welded it all around and then ground it to look nice. Okay, so this is how it fits now. Here the rocker is a little bit curved and uh, but the curve now matches the curve on the fender at the back too it's still shaking but you see this uh, when this aligns here this corner the curve aligns too and it's gonna be just a little bit lower here so I have to attach the door to see how uh, the bottom of the door will align with the rocker but I believe now it is gonna be uh, much better anyways but before I do anything else I'm gonna I'm gonna paint the rocker inside with the uh, last guard and uh, and then I'm gonna proceed with the rest. This is the so-called rust guard. It sticks directly to the metal and protects it from the rust. Uh, I couldn't find the brush so I used a piece of sponge to apply it there. But it's gonna be hidden. It doesn't need to look beautiful. It just needs to be protected. I attach the door one more time to make sure the rocker fits well before I weld it in place. As I was expecting, it aligns very well. So now I can run the molding here without any problems. Just a little bit here I need to build up. And I'm gonna show you how a little bit later. At the top and the bottom of the rocker I punched holes for plug weld. I made sure I put a hole in every two and a half, three inches so I can put as many plug welds as possible. Then I cleaned all the edges from paint and rust so I can uh, weld without any problems. I fitted the rocker and I tucked it uh, in a couple of places so it stays where it was gonna be for a long time. And then here where it was pushed in I made a little notch and I just pushed it out. Then I aligned it with the straight edge and I tucked it where I wanted it to be. And then I started tucking uh, here and there, wherever in the metal was uh, touching one to each other. Wherever it wasn't, I was uh, trying to adjust the edges so they can touch. And for the plug weld, that's another trick that I learned from uh, Peter. I took a drill bit and I ground it flat at the front. You see? Totally flat. And with this drill bit, through the holes that I punched earlier on the rocker, I was able to remove the paint from the inner seal. And now I was able to uh, weld the rocker to the inner steel without any problems. So thank you one more time Peter for sharing this uh, amazing trick with us. And 
from there there was a lot of welding and pulling down and more welding and more cooling down at some point I had to remove the fender to reach better I put the car on jack stands and there was a lot of grinding too I had to put the fender a couple of times on and off until it fit uh, well When I was happy with the front, I moved to the back and I did exactly the same thing there. A lot of welding and grinding. And this is the final result. This is where it was pushed in. Now it's uh, almost perfectly straight here too. And with the door on. See now, this looks much better. I'm happy now. Okay, now I still have to deal with the gap on the door, but uh, I have no time today. It's already late, and it's one of these days when uh, I can see the end of something, and I don't want to stop, but it's too late. So I'm gonna stop for today, and I'm gonna continue tomorrow.